Psychology stumbled upon this phenomenon of people thinking they are better than they actually are, uh, and evidence started mounting up in the 1970s. Early on, somebody did a survey asking people to rate how good they were at driving. 90% of the people said they were above average. So they thought that was funny. But then they sound, found the same pattern in all these different studies with different phenomena. So yes, the average person thinks he or she is above average in lots of different ways. Uh, and at some point, surveying all the literature, psychologists came to the conclusion, well, let's put these together. There are three of what they call positive illusions, where people generally overestimate the positivity of their lives. So the first one, this is simply rating your abilities and your successes as higher than they really are. You downplay your faults and your failures, you overestimate your good points. That's where you end up thinking that you're a more capable and successful person than the facts would warrant. Second is that we overestimate how much control we have over life. People tend to think they can steer their fate and produce the results that they want. Uh, they can get where they want to go, they can take charge. So when people estimate how much they are in control of their own fates, people overestimate how much control they have. This is borne out even in very carefully controlled laboratory studies, where you can make the outcome partly a result of what the person does and partly by random chance that the uh, laboratory computer controls and ask them how much. People don't acknowledge the random chance aspect of the computer as much. Rather, I should say, most people don't do that. It turns out that people who are experiencing depression, they tend to be more accurate. Uh, this is interesting. Back in the 1960s, when psychotherapists began to look for new ways of treating depression, they thought, how can we change their thinking style? These people are twisting everything into a negative frame. How can we get them to stop doing that? If we could only get them to see the world more accurately, they would stop being depressed. But then, researchers began to find that, oh no, depressed people were saying things accurately. It's the non-depressed, the seemingly mentally healthy people, they're the ones who are twisting things, but in a positive way. The third positive illusion is optimism. People are unrealistically optimistic. They think good things are more likely to happen to them than to the average person. They think bad things are less likely. Uh, people have been asking studies questions like, what are the odds that you'll get a big promotion at work someday? What are the odds you'll get sacked from work? What are the chances you'll have a happy marriage? What are the chances you'll get a divorce? And so on, over and over. Uh, and people say, compared to others, the chances are more good things will happen to me and fewer bad things will happen to me. Again, we don't know which people are distorting, but we know people in general, the average person is overestimating their good qualities and their positive future.